Hello, welcome back. Last time I found all this machinery and had no idea what to do with it. This is mines, that's right. Yeah, so pretty mysterious. What's in my inventory at this point? I have half a plug. And half a plug. And possibly a plug mold. Uh... Blue torch, red torch, cup, red torch stand, vase, spoon, snips, vial, orange torch, unknown object. I still have no idea what this is. Hmm. Pitcher and scroll still. So what's interactive here? This, but not with anything I have. I poked it with every object I owned and nothing happened. This messes with the plug mold. Got a perfectly reasonable suggestion with this thing, which totally makes sense to try. Let's take it over to the, um, the oven thing up here. Because it does look clay-like. It looks like already fired clay, though. Like, this thing doesn't need to be in a fire, right? I don't think it does. But, uh, maybe the mold... It does indeed go there. Okay, so that's good to know. Um, can't put you in it. What about the other thing like you? Nope, not that. Okay. So what if I just cook this empty? I feel like I need to put something in it. Did that change it? Is it too hot to handle now? It looks the same to me, yeah. So that's already fired, as I thought. So something needs to go in that. I would assume that that something would be... Uh, oh, hey, I'm only missing two letters. How about that? Assuming this is a full list of all of them. I would assume that something would be the... The pure white crystal. Um, this white luminous material is compressed and purified version of the natural, locally common reddish orange colored energy crystal. Uh, didn't you say. No. Hmm. I thought I remembered him saying something about you're going to need to forge the the inside of the something. Hmm. Maybe not though. Okay, so is there anything else interactive here? If I'm gonna like spoon out some powder from the garden and bring it here. That would take a really long time. That's probably not what I want to do. So what do I want to put in that? Let's see. So I can't really compare this thing's size with this or anything. So hole goes through the center. Those patterns there. This on the side here, yes. Like, I feel like I need to melt down a crystal core. Right, with a hole in it, like that. Stick that melted core in between those two halves of the plug, and then that'll make the new one to go in here. But I need something to put in that. Okay, well, I mean, just to try it. I'll go spoon out. Okay, so is there something that I can identify as the pure white crystal? 
in the alchemy lab. I'll give it a shot. And maybe I could, like, put a bunch into a container. The spoon is obviously not the right thing for carrying it back and forth, if that's what I'm doing. Um, so there is something whitish here. I'll take some. Now maybe I could, like brew something up in here and then put that in the so I can't spoon into it when there's no liquid okay good to know I guess I'll try spooning directly into the mold it's probably just gonna pick it up though yeah what I don't love about this is that there's no indication of which object interacts with this and any interaction is just going to pick that up if it's not the right thing okay can I put my orange torch in there and purify it I don't think so so that's a place that that can go The mines are over here. I've interacted with everything that's interactive here, right? It's like this, this thing's job is done. This thing's job is done, I think. I can still mess with it, but I don't really have a reason to, as far as I know. So pure white crystal. Like, it has to be sparkly for me to be able to spoon out of it. Also, I have a spoon full of the other stuff. Okay, is this what I was thinking about? No, no, this is just the background of the gateways. Oh, boy. So, yeah, clearly I still don't know what I'm missing. I can't pick up... So this does show a vial full of the stuff. But the only way I have to put something into a vial is either by squeezing berries or hay. No, that's not a spoon, that's a... I mean, the spoon is full of stuff. That's non-interactive anyway, it doesn't matter. But is there any, like, environmental clues here that I can use somehow? Unspoonable. This just rotates, that's all. And then there's all this. This just incomprehensible mechanism. Which is doing nothing because there's just like nothing in the system. That's my interpretation of that at least. So, this doesn't make a difference, right? I don't think that's connected. It's not. This is, this is just a standalone thingy. So, red crystals on the stands are powering up a something here. Is there anything, like, in the back of this, where those pipes would come out outside. Can I see any pipes out here? Oops. They'd be right about here. Looks like just a solid stone wall to me. That could be something. But I don't think it is. That's just a rope. Not any kind of power line or anything. Okay, I got rid of the contents of my spoon. Um, so I don't know what I'm doing. Maybe I should be looking for a use for... 
the subject. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight holes. A lot more than eight, and a second ring on the inside. This looks like 16. This is 8. Not the right size, though. Whoa, okay, so that's how that looks. Yeah, 16 and 8. So, of course, those do match. Ugh. All right, well, I'll look around for a use for this object and anything else I might have missed because I'm kind of a little bit stuck right now. So let's see what I can find, I guess. Oh, is it? So I opened my notebook to look at clues <laughs> and it told me about this. Okay, so that's why I opened that cabinet. Uh, all right, so liquid white crystal available in alchemy lab. Yeah, right here in this thing. Ah, but the problem is I don't have a holder for it. Well, however, look at those hooks. Oh, I can just plop that in there and that's how I dispense this. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> I did it. All right, should have flipped open my notebook earlier because... Man, I had the, I had the feeling that I had all the pieces of this and just wasn't putting them together somehow. That was right. Okay, so now we're gonna bake some white crystal. Cool. I assume I don't need the fire crystal in there because the fire's already started. It should be fine. Okay. So now I've possibly cast a uh, crystal shape. Um, I need to use the machine that bops that out of there. Um, back way into the mines is accessible through here. It takes me long enough to figure out how to get to it though that the front way is probably just as quick. Okay. So I should be able to get this out with that. Save a game, there we go. Okay, I can pluck this and now this thing's job is done, neat. All right, got a fancy shiny white thing. Um, I suspect I know exactly how to use this. Um, yeah, still wondering what the heck any of this is for, but I need to like turn on power or like get pressure in pipes or something first. I want to be in this building? I don't know, one of those buildings somewhere. So that thing that I thought was a press, I think might be a press in addition to the other thing that it does. Because I was able to put the bottom of this structure here, right? Yeah, so now the crystal core, there we go. And the cap, now press it. Okay, so that is its structure. Uh, that should be a decent... No, oh, no. There we go. Still not super clear on what the viewport of this sketch is. So I'm seeing it's, it's like... Like around that much or so? Okay, uh, so now that is a whole object. It might have been before I put the lever down. <laughs> That's just, again, the officially licensed assembling station. Or maybe I did have to press it down, but it didn't like... It didn't save, it didn't make a noise or anything. Maybe it did save, I don't know. Anyway, final plug. So gear building is open. There's obviously something to do with the order of these, though, and it probably has to do with the structure, the internals of each one. So I'm not going to worry about that yet. Let's check out the gear building. Long-awaited mystery spot right here, I think. Oh, how exciting. Great, I love it. Okay, let's try the other end of it. 
So there's something big in there taking up all the space. Oh, how exciting. I love it. It's full of copper. Just a solid chunk of copper all the way through, huh? What? Blue torch, can you help me? Well, you make a reflection. Isn't that pretty? <laughs> uh, but... Okay, so that was a solid copper wall. The other thing... has features. So I have a suspicion about this. My suspicion is that the rotation of like the copper wall structure around there is determined by the order of the plugs here. Let me see if I can like make a difference if I put these in in a different order. This is pretty much just a random order, but I, it, it should be different now. Are there any other interactive bits to this? I guess not. So is now the time I need to pay attention to their internal structure and to do something from that? Well, no visible change here. Maybe that's just always the failure state. It looks the same. No visible change here. Okay. Those are the only gear symbols. No interactivity here. How strange, whoops. So what is this building like attached to? Or okay, so here's that. You can see in the window and it's still just more solid copper. Have I ever looked in this window? Well, it looks like nothing. Oh, hey. I wonder if that means anything, because, well, no, that doesn't match the... the structure of... this. No, that's different. Okay, well... How many of these have I recorded? I'd rather just look at them one by one like this. Okay, so... You have that structure. Yours is pretty similar, that's the new one. This one's fairly different. Where's the rest of my things? Oh shoot, I don't know which is which anymore. It reorders them every time I do this. This one has symmetry. Have I looked at you already? Yes. Well, I'm getting, like, no information from that. I mean, it's information, but it's not, like, information I can do anything with. Is information information when it means nothing to me? Like, from just these symbols, which I haven't seen anywhere else that I noticed, and these patterns, which I haven't seen anywhere else that I've noticed. I don't feel like I can really determine an order. I need some information. I have none. Uh, I'm wondering if I need to, like, drink something to see something weird. Hang on. So let me... Let me close this building for a moment. And the windows, like, nothing changes with them, right? That looks different. 
No, it does change. That is not what I saw through that window when the door was open. Nor through that one. They get their own barriers. So if I stick this back in... Uh, I have an idea. Yeah, that definitely changed. There's more of an indentation there. I can see some light coming through here. Okay, here's what I want to try. You know that speed drink? I want to drink that and zip over here so I can watch this in the process of opening right after I put in that plug. That should be just about the right length for that sort of thing. Uh, which one is the speed drink? Uh, right, so I did what I needed to do with that. So glad I made that note because it was exactly what I needed. Sure, got a bunch of those notes and noted and I don't know what they are. Upside down, cyan. I didn't use the cyan, but it wasn't really... It wasn't really cyan, it was just... Just a slight tint. Okay, so speed is the... The ones on stalks. So I want you. I don't know what I'll get out of this, but I do want to see if I can catch it in motion. Now, it might actually be the other way around that I want, but let's see what this does. As in, like... What is it that slows down? Is it the world, or is it me? And which one of those do I want? Like, I want to slow down the world and speed me up, right? Maybe? Probably? Yeah, click to drink, I understand. Don't put that in your hand yet. Gonna have to kinda race a little bit. Okay, so I'm gonna put it in my hand... no. Um, so let's see, picking up an inventory item... Where does it put it? I pick you up. I have you there. I place you, and that puts the drink in my hand. Okay. So I have highlighted. Blue torch. I pick you up. You go there. Click, click. Speed me. Zoom. I was unable to watch it. So, I mean, that could just be my perception of time. It could be that time's still running at the same speed. I'm no faster. It's just that I perceive that I'm faster because... It messes with uh, that. It could also be that that's totally just an instant effect. And I can't actually catch it moving. Um, it takes a moment for the plug to screw itself into place in there, though. So that so makes me feel like I might be able to do something with this. So slow was this one. We'll try it. Alright, so how was that? Go to the thing above, pick up the plug, place the plug, drink the drink. I could also try to catch it closing instead of opening. By the way, this is right above this. So that's just up there. These seem connected, but like I, I rubbed this with every inventory item I have and it None of them acted as a, a good enough wrench to get that to turn, or whatever I need to do to that. What are you about? Those are just the particles from there. This is weirdly non-interactive. Ah, there's the sun. 
So you connect with wires to this. This goes all the way down there and is part of that structure, kinda. It just keeps on going down. Okay, I don't see a direct connection between that and the mechanisms I'm messing with. Okay, well anyway, I have a I have a drink to drink. All right, so this is in my hand. I pick up, I place, I drink, I run quick. My perception of time is distorted, and I see nothing. Okay. Um. This is here. I see. What's up with these things? Does that mean anything? It's just a wall. No, it's just a wall. It's not like a power line or anything. Well, so technically I did accomplish something, but I don't know what it did for me. Like it just opened something that's closed now. What are you for? What are you? Where did I get you? Why, why do you exist? I'm going to go up that ladder because for some reason I feel like it's related to that stuff. Is there anything else that could have happened when I... Oh boy, where's this ladder? I can never find it. Right, it's kind of not on the map. It's over Northern Viewpoint, yes. Um, here? Here. Didn't I already try this, though? I tried to mess with this thing, with everything that I owned, and nothing did anything. Hey, wait. Oh, this changed. This is active now. Oh. Oh, oh, got it. Okay, I see. I turned on the power. That's the gear building. I'm rotating the layers. Oh, I got it. Okay, now I can see inside. I can see inside the window, yes. Um, oh dear, what? So that didn't move. I don't know what this... Okay, so now I'm rotating the one layer. Uh, Alright, so... I should be able to see. So I can see through two layers there. Which one is the door? Perhaps these are the doors? And now I'm looking at the window. Let's see. So if that's... So what I'm looking at there would have a door right there. That doesn't add up. Okay, well, in any case, I'm pretty sure... The main thing I'm going to do here is line up all the holes with each other. So let me see if I can just do that task. So these two holes are aligned. And now I need you to do that. And then, okay, so I can get inner. Oh boy, there's a lot of layers to this. Four of them. So three are aligned. I can get the single... Okay, so second layer from the outside. There are two different ways to interface with the outermost layer. So again, three layers are aligned. Okay, I think from here I might have a route. Yes, okay, this this does it, because I can rotate that individually. There we go. Okay, see, great, but what did I rotate it to? Probably the wrong thing. So how do I rotate... Okay, those are my opposites, so do this. 
and this. Okay. So that's probably one door, one side of it. They still don't move. Okay, that's fine. But I can see in the window and one of the doors I think is going to be open now. Okay. Okay, okay. So my question was... If the gear symbol is active, is anything else active? Turns out that answer is yes. Um, so I probably could have figured that out if I had... Where am I? Is this the gate I want? If I had realized... If I had followed the wires and realized that they went to the gear building... Okay, yeah, I'm definitely in... Ooh, the mechanics. Definitely in one side of this, but not the other. Okay, so there are interactive things in here. I'm not going to mess with this yet today. Um, what does the other side look like? Solid barrier. Okay, so I'm pretty sure that if I turn that all the way around, I could get in the other side and see a different thing over there. Alright, so this building is totally going to be my focus next time. Cool. That is pretty neat. <laughs> Multi-walled. Alright, good stuff. Uh, see you next time for the mechanics.